All right, let's roll. <clears throat> Hello, and welcome to the Big Money Silas podcast. I am your host with my co-host, Mrs. Aniana Ria Veria. I always want to add extra syllables to your name for some reason. Most people say Riviera for some reason. I'm like, I'm not a place in Mexico. Rivera. Yeah, Rivera. Yeah, I was like, isn't that how you say it? Rivera. But then I wanted to be like, Riviera. I want to say Riviera. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the Riviera. Just kidding. Hey, um, if you see us on video... You'll know my baby's in the podcast studio. Ani's got a bun in her hair. I've never seen you with a bun. No, in two years, you may have never seen my hair. No, out. literally. I was like, it who was, are you? It was hot today. I think it looks cute, though. I, I, had I think a, you'd look, be really cute in like a little high pony or something, or like the mid pony, you know? Oh, for sure. I actually love them, but it hurt, hurts my it head hurts so my bad. It hurts my head, yes. I'm, and let it be known, it's with or without extensions. It, I don't put my hair No, up. I don't like, I agree. It was funny because I went to a barbecue at a friend's house, and she's like, I never see your hair in a ponytail. And I was like, you told me I, to not get ready and that I had to wear my hair in a ponytail, but just so you know, I this hurts yeah well laura i we i had laura at dkw do it literally as i'm beating a client <laughs> it's fine the client was a friend but <laughs> she's putting i was like laura i'm sweating put my hair up yes so she so did it hot. though where it doesn't pull or hurt anything is there an elastic in there one one i don't know how she fucking what did magic it magic trick is this i don't guys go to bigmoneysilasnow.com and go <laughs> look at this thing this live creature sitting on my head i got a baseball cap on i know i'm like we won't both walk in look at each other and go oh, <laughs> oh how's your friday <laughs> oh do you normally come to work like like, yeah. like that <laughs> i was gonna like go put some makeup on or something and then i was like ah fuck it it's a podcast i think podcast is like the one place on social media where you like people respect you more if you have like dirty hair or something you know what i mean like and you're serious my rule is just friday i'm not putting if I don't have an event or filming. Yeah. I'm not putting on makeup. I usually don't get ready on Fridays till like the nighttime if we're going somewhere. Oh, it's day night. It's day night. So I, <laughs> yeah. So anyway. um, Also, I told uh, Krishana, I explained to her who Susan is. <laughs> oh, is she, if she you, has a new name. If you, oh, what's her it's name? Mar it's uh, Marg. Marg? Yeah, it's the advanced version of Susan. Marg? Marg. <laughs> Katie named her. It was what supposed to be fuck? Margaret. And then she goes, I'm going to call you Marg. And I was like, you're the one that likes margaritas. It's not me. So in case you anyway. guys don't know, whenever Danielle gets really drunk, we call her Susan. So I was telling Krishana about the first time I met Susan when you tackled me on the beach at the montage. Oh, yeah. That was, let's not do any company <laughs> meetings like that again. I, she was like, I want to meet Susan so bad. <laughs> no, no, no. The best is when we were playing hide and seek in the montage. <laughs> I just remember hiding behind a plant going, do you think anyone could see us? <laughs> I peed on the beach. How about that? Oh, that's, that was it, rough. It, 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 no, it was a great night. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I will say we had our, all worked really hard. Like we and I was like, hey, you guys, we need to have a team meeting. But I knew I didn't want to discuss anything. I was actually looking for it like to like a bonding meeting because we, oh, we bonded. Of, yeah, we had like a lot of new stuff going on. And then like we get there, we talked about a little of work. And then I was like, who wants a flight of tequila? Sure. Something. I, isn't that what I don't remember? Well, because at the time I didn't really drink alcohol. Not for any. I didn't have a problem. Oh, I just that's didn't care. Why, that's why it went south. OK, yes. so we're sitting there like classy women having a skinny mark. Like, I wasn't planning on having w more than one skinny mark. I was like, whatever. And then Ani starts talking about how, oh, no, guys, I don't drink. Because we're like, just have a freaking mark. Like, and finally they were like, will you please, please just take one shot of tequila? No, well, that's fun. where it went. <laughs> fun so fact south. about me. I'm either sober or we're going <laughs> or hard. We, we went hard. <laughs> we had to get a driver. We went to the salon. You know what? Thank God my husband texted me. and was like, I'm sending the driver. Don't worry about it. Have fun. I was like. <laughs> Well, you said have fun. Ani's two shots in. Fuck it. We're doing it. We ended up taking, I think, about five, six shots of tequila apiece. Oh, my God. We were wrecked. I, you know what? What happened is we went over to the rooftop. and No, not the rooftop. The, the Mozambique. Mozambique rooftop. And these old dudes were like, ladies, can we buy you drinks? And we were like, we're four shots in. Why not? And then it was rough. So... And then we, you were like, let's go to the montage. And we're like, we've never been to the Do montage. Do you know that we're was not so fancy. the most hungover I've ever been in my entire life? <laughs> the next day, life. Danielle's going, I guess I think I got food poisoning. We're like, bitch, you are hungover. I've never <laughs> been that hungover. I did not know. And Ani comes over all peppy. And she's like, hey, you ready to go to work? And I was like, how are you peppy right now? It was rough. So. It was amazing. Let's talk about, <laughs> but really, let's talk about <laughs> bonding inside of the about. workplace. <laughs> No, is that I our really, topic? It's that's, going to be you know, for half the, a minute. This is what our topic's going to be, tribes. There you go. That's our topic, tribes. Yes, because let me tell you, DKW right now, there's so many of us, and I love everybody. You know what? Which it's is a, a very rare thing to be I able had to say. somebody, who was, oh, a big, uh, Lori Harder. She came, she's a big, like, social media influencer. She does tons of events. Yeah. She came in, I said hi. She was like, she DM'd me and was like, hey, I just want to let you know, like, your girls seem like they genuinely, like, love their, I don't know what she said, specifically. 
exactly. But Specifically. She was, <laughs> <specifically>. <laughs> <laughs> but, but she was like, hey, your team seems like they're really happy. That says a lot about you. I love my hair. It's the best it's ever looked. And I was like, fucking win. Yes. So, but I think that, like, I think people notice when you... I was going to say have a bunch of catty bitches working for you, but I won't say that. We'll say have a bunch of catty bitches working I, for you. I think if you're not happy in like your place of employment or there's tension, like the clients see it too, whether like, I think it affects the experience and I want to feel, I want to go to somebody who I feel like loves their job. You know what I mean? Well, and it's even cause I'm normally only in the salon on Tuesdays, but this was like a special circumstance today for one of my clients. And Amanda is always works on Tuesdays and you know, me and her together. It's just, we, you we banter, get we get loud and we <laughs> banter so much. I've had clients for, I'm like, in case you can't tell we're friends. And they were like, I love coming on Tuesdays cause it's just so fun. That's fun. That's fun day. So <laughs> if you want to book a ticket, up, you say, I didn't go for a Tuesday. <laughs> no, but like, seriously, like even if you think about, um, I know I'm just going to take it that like to our education. So I have an education program called Natural Beauty Rose, and we've said this on some of the other podcasts. Is we're we're kind of shifting gears this next year, and we're right now we just not we just, but I have a large mastermind because I always felt like one extension class or one certification class is is hold on. <laughs> she has baby Isla here, and I was She's like, good. I'm not drinking this bottle good. anymore. Um, but I I feel like it was more than it's evolved to more than just a mastermind. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, this is really how to get your life in check. It's not just like well, do some hair, go to work. It's, it's it's like it's business, but it's also like if you have other areas in your life that suck, then you suck. But not it's kind of kidding, but serious. Like it affects but for real. Though. But for real, like if you are struggling in one area of your life, it ultimately pours over into your business life or your business life. It, like they're all kind of connected. So it, at some level, I remember like even when I first started doing like working with Garrett because he does a lot of like mindset and coaching and training mm-hmm. and all that. And I was like, Psh, super lame. I don't need <laughs> I'm My just husband's gonna, a life coach. I'm just, I'm not, I don't need that life coach shit. <laughs> I just want to do hair and have a margarita. <laughs> no, but for real. And I was like, oh, I don't. I and we have people all the time. We're like, hey, come do, be, we call it big money sales or business marketing and sales of natural beauty rose. And we're like, hey, come to our education. They're like, I don't need that stuff. And I just want to learn the method. I just want to learn the method. But here's the thing. Like, you'll get something out of it. And the more I'm around it, I start, when I hear myself talk, I'm like, God damn it. I'm a damn life coach. Like, I'm <laughs> We like, are, though. We, but we are. And I think that it plays, like, a huge role in your business. But next year. Is gonna be good. Oh, DKW style. Just like Academy. give him a smidge. Just give him a smidge of where we're going. Cause it was a mastermind, but now we're turning it to a school. It's literally DKW Styling Academy, and we're gonna have. I know we talked about it a little bit before, but Danielle and I we sat down yesterday for basically the whole day and really figuring out structure inside of not just like okay, we're gonna teach you color. Well. The brand new newbies who come in, they need to learn color one way. The students that are going to be in phase two, they need, you know, a more like intermediate color. The students that are going to be in phase three, they need advanced color. So we really broke down not just NBR inside of color, sectioning, beadwork, stitching, and beads. <gasps> the jumpsuit is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Little baby Isla has on this leopard print jumpsuit. I have to hold her before you guys leave, just so you know. You're not leaving until I hold her. Anyway, so, but we went through and really figured out, like, okay, inside of every single phase, like, where can we meet the students? Because realistically, a brand new newbie is not going to be able to do a three-row short bob adding length and diffusing that um, that hard line. It just doesn't work because it's so complicated. <laughs> Sorry. And, are you okay? I'm literally <clears throat> caught in my headphones there we go that's keep going it's good just, yeah it's good. but we so that's we had to sit there and really say okay how do we meet the students where they're at so they can continuously progress to the next stage so inside of literally color sectioning beadwork stitching and beads placing hair um cut style photos applications consultations client experience Little we're really funnels like we're taking it step by step to say great here's well, where you're at for these six months how do we get you to the next six? and here's what i'm just gonna say because i feel like it's so much more than beads and application and like how you put it in. Like if your photo finish or your color or your cut doesn't blend, I don't care what system of hair extensions you're using, you're not gonna be able to pick up more clients. No, and that's what I tell everybody. You can't just, you know what's so interesting? One of actually the mastermind girls said this the other day, because we always say you have to do your daily four, which is posting a picture, doing a video, um, sending client an audio, and then writing like a text blog type post. And inside of that, she's like, you know, it blows my mind. She's like, I've been in mastermind for a while. She goes, and I was doing it. She goes, but here's what I realized. Even inside of doing it, she's like, it's not just like posting a photo is good enough. There's a lot of little steps that go into it. And I said, let's think of it this way. 
my donkey, little nugget. But I said, let's think of it this way. Something that's so natural to us. Like if you're watching me, like Danielle's patting baby Isla on the back and I'm sitting here waving my hands because I can't talk without them apparently. And I don't sit here thinking, okay, brain, now I need you to move this muscle like this. It's something that happens automatically. And I told her, I said, for your body to even work, you have to have the thought, your brain sends a signal all the way down your spinal cord, that releases chemicals that go all the way down into the muscles, and that starts kind of contracting or expanding, which is like the simplest way I can put it. I go, but think about it. All you're doing is thinking, either you're thinking I'm going to walk here, or you're just doing it automatically, but there's so many tiny micro steps Mm -hmm. that your body takes in order to give you that outcome. So although you can say, I just want to post a picture and get clients, well, that's great, but it's... You don't even see it. It's like you don't... No. Like, you'll be like, I'm doing all the checklists. I'm doing all the steps. And, like, you you don't see it until you advance and you get further. And then you're like, oh, my God, now I can see the difference. Now, okay, it's not just, well, I took a photo. Who gives a shit? Well, wait, how was my client looking? How was her head turned? Where were her eyeballs? Where was was light shining onto them? Was light coming in from the back? Was there one weird wonky piece? There's so many more things that go into just posting one fucking photo. And when I said that, they were kind of like, oh, my God, you're right. So the way we're structuring out, DKW Styling Academy next year why we're so excited it's not this overwhelm of like here's all the information Danielle's had in 10 years and me four and a half of doing NBR it's it's structured yeah I think that's what's hard is like when you get really good at your craft sometimes you don't appreciate how you got good at your craft and it's hard to break it down it's like one thing to be good but it's one thing to teach why you're good at what you do and that makes all the difference. And so I feel like between, because obviously Danielle's the first one that taught me. And then I've been at this for, for four and a half years now and two as a trainer here. But there's, I feel between her and I, there's so much knowledge that we have. And then we have three more national trainers starting in January that it's like, like they're already in the process of being trained. They'll just be taking their own classes starting January that there's so much. There's- and, well, and if we tell, though, because I feel like we're setting people up to win. Like before, yes. it was almost like you you explained it the best one time. You're like, we have a bucket of content that people are like, it's almost too much information that people tend to get yeah. overwhelmed and they don't know exactly where to go. So even if we have weekly trainings where we feel like we're pouring our heart out and adding a ton of value, <laughs> if if you're not ready to hear what we're telling you, you'll get overwhelmed and you won't. You it won't. You won't be able to apply it. Yes. It's like, honest, this is like me going to the gym. I walk into the gym and there are so many machines and so many things and, and like, so many it, weights the and so many. Oh my God. How did you know? That's literally what, what I do. I do. I'm like, oh fuck. That one's got like a knob and a twist. And that, I'm like, why is that person upside down dangling? What what happened here? And then I'm here? like, why can't I get different results? Because I'm too scared to try something different. Literally. T- like the gym for some reason is like a terrifying place for me. And that's why sometimes I go with like people who know how to use the gym. Yeah. But then I'm like. I know I'm also gym buddy. I know but, I'm fucking up your workout though. Sorry, <laughs> Parker. Shout but out you know to what you. It's so cool though. Like I feel like this is going to give us an opportunity for just like I said, everybody wins. Um, I think in the past when people would join my mastermind, they, they created a sense of community. They, we created a tribe. They cr- made a ton of new friends. Like, just like because I mean literally like no, yes like I think of like your bridesmaids were people that you met from or no not your bridesmaids I'm sorry I'm sorry I canceled that married. wedding <laughs> <laughs> no but you were bridesmaids as somebody who I had attended yeah mm-hmm. yeah like so many bonds are formed in that tribe experience and everything and so it's like but people would join mastermind and they're like well do I do this for life you know there was like no end in sight and yes. so if we structure it like like an academy, like a college, like then there's an end inside, there's a goal inside, then everybody wins. And then not only that, it's structured where that we know we're setting you guys, like everyone up to win. And we've said this before, or maybe we've just recently started saying it, but at the end of the day, if Danielle and I do our job and what we're so passionate about and we do it correctly, the students aren't here forever. Because our goal is to have them so confident in the R and then have them have their business so structured and set and strong that it can actually work without them and that creates it's a legacy that's maybe well their kids will be working inside the salon or they can travel more with their kids like whatever it is if we do our job correctly and we're really setting artists up just to have a great life and you don't need to be with us forever right but I still think that you can take your friends you can take the community you can take those relationships and keep them like you would at any school you oh know my what God, I mean yes and well, so that's and I, why I'm like super stoked is I'm like listen you get like everything you did in the past but now it's like fly little birdie you know leave the nest well and something I think is really cool because right now we have about 300 new artists um, coming to BMS Con 4 in just a couple of months by the way I know a couple it's months like, it's really creeping up I'm on shitting me. my pants I know hi baby <laughs> hi 
Hi, little nugget. She's so fucking cute. But um, actually, one of them had just, so I've been getting, Danielle and I just finished this past Wednesday, um, a training for BMS Con 4. And I've been getting DM after DM after message after message after message of them just being like, thank you, guys. Nice. Thank you. They're like, we've never had anybody care so much, like, ever, because we really talked about balance inside of your relationships with your partner, with your children, with your friends, with yourself is really the big topic that we had last week or this past week. And they were like, I've never had anyone actually sit down and like make me think about it. Well, and it's so crazy because it, like, I can't remember. I think I told you this, like one of my trainers had called me and she thought she had an assistant program and then it turned out she just had a, she needed an afternoon for her. Like she didn't have balance yeah. with her self time. You know what I mean? So it, all these little areas play a huge role. And so, yes, we teach you a ton of the art, like a ton so, of the art. And we also to, yes. like, Ani and I are fairly uh, tech savvy. And you're probably more so than, actually, I'm pretty tech savvy. I think I've been able to, like, let go a little bit because now I have teams. But in the beginning, like, I coded my own blog. I did my own YouTube. I did my own YouTube editing. I did my own email. I did my own mm -hmm. email list. I did, like, I, I know how to create an ad on Facebook. Like, I know enough of the basics, but I don't want to do all that. So I hire that out. But that's the other thing is we, we're, we're not only just touching base on, like, the art and life and all that, but we're pretty fucking tech savvy. And yeah. I feel like that's a big piece that everybody just wants to do, like social media. Hey, I hashtagged. Cool. That's, but that's it's not enough anymore because it it's so saturated. You why, yeah, I was gonna say you want to know why it doesn't work anymore. So, like in the beginning when I started my brand, like don't mind the baby grunting. That's how committed I am to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> in the beginning, when I started my my YouTube channel, it wasn't like YouTube wasn't. It, it was popular, but it wasn't like super oversaturated, specifically for hairdressers. And I just started like sharing curling tips and tutorials and all this. But because the market wasn't oversaturated and I wasn't like, at the end, I wasn't like, now buy my shit. I wasn't like, it was just like, hey, if you want to find, like follow me and create, see more hair tutorials, like follow me. And so now what the trend is doing is people are like, you'll see ads all the time on Facebook and Instagram, but they're not like, they're not like free content videos. Yeah, there's stories and boomerangs and all that shit, but there's not like, hey, let me. Hey, click here, buy this. Yeah, buy this. yeah. There's buy this. like the ads. Buy people this. are running ads on click here, buy this. They're not running ads on, on organic stuff. And now the market's so oversaturated. So you, you have these girls who are spending like so much time doing videos, but not enough people are seeing it. It's not that the content's not good. It's that not enough people are seeing it. So I'm not going to share my secrets, but. Did you hear, Garrett and I had actually been sending this a couple months back there because everybody, they're like, I just want more followers. And I'm like, that doesn't fucking mean anything. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't convert. Well, there was a blogger girl, lady, whoever, I don't even know who she was, but she had like a million some followers, right? Okay. And she was like, guys, I'm going to start this new line this new like t-shirt line oh, like yeah, clothing it line it, it failed yeah well they, she was like all you know would you guys buy it they're like i would buy it i would buy it everyone was like bye 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 and she's like great so she sent out a like a like basically put the link out and all she had to do to really get her brand clothing brand started was sell like 30 t-shirts to her million she, followers she didn't she didn't do it it was it was, it was a 30 it was that seems like sad. No, it was like 30, 35. Because Gary and I were literally sitting there like, fuck me, man, a million people. Yeah. And she couldn't sell 35 shirts. Well, and that's what's so funny is like you have to find out in your business like what's converting. Mm -hmm. Like when we do ads, like you have to be able to go behind the scenes and be like, okay, is this organic? Is this paid? And like how, you have to kind of dial it in. There's no magic pill to, no. to marketing. So you have to be somewhat like tech savvy and you have to be really like for me this last like six months I've been very much behind the scenes and I think people maybe are just like oh cute she had a baby I'm like oh no cute I had a baby and I literally like I'm like obsessed with like figuring out every angle of my business right you now. and I have been back and forth 10,000 and not like in an arguing way like hey what about this what about that let's no, do this it's just like plan it, it's, it's like so planning. much planning and I, I, it's so funny because I thought oh my god what a weird year for me to have a baby and then I'm like what a perfect year for me to have a baby because like Garrett used to be involved in my business but he wanted to like focus on warrior and it was going a direction that I didn't it wasn't my vision yeah and I was like I can't and I'm like I'm not like I'm not done like this is it's not like I built it up to a point and I'm like yeah I did it like I see it going so much further and so I kind of like I didn't fire Garrett I joke around and say that but I literally was <laughs> like you do your thing I'm taking back over and so it was kind of perfect timing that I I had a baby this year because I haven't been behind the chair as much and it's been able it I've been able to really like look at every angle of my business and say is this working and like I said I don't do every little thing I'm not there coding blog posts I'm not there doing all the ads I'm not I'm not doing all that but I have to have a basic understanding to know where I want to take my company so I just think I'm fucking geeked. I, there's so many awesome. great things happening. No, I think it's I think it's oh. gonna be 
I think it's going to be good. Like I have like a really good feeling <laughs> about next year of like where it's going. And I have my um, Isla. This is little Isla right here, but I also have a hand tied hairline. Um, that interestingly enough, I don't know if I shared, did I tell you the story? Like I was running on the treadmill. This was like when I just found out I was pregnant and all of a sudden I saw a blonde little girl running around and I was like, her name's Isla. And then I didn't even know I was having a girl. Then I found out I was having a girl. And then like the next day they're like, you need to come up with a, a line for your, or a name for your hairline. And nothing felt good. And I was like, I'm naming it Isla. And then she pops out and she has like a full head of platinum blonde hair. No, literally platinum white blonde hair. I was like, man, blonde you're going to take over my my hairline empire. Okay, Aww. little baby. <laughs> Thanks, little nugget. But anyways, I just think it's important to like, I don't know. I feel like the community that we're creating it's going to be win-win for everybody. and I'm Well, and really, here's the deal. You go farther when you're surrounded by people who not only want the same thing as you, but are excited for your growth and success. If you're surrounded by people who are like, oh, that's so fucking lame, whatever, that does, it 100% holds you back. And that's what I think is so great about Mastermind and DKW Signing Academy and really the culture that's been created. Every single person inside of the program has an accountability buddy. Do you know how last, I think you had already left the training because baby Isla, but one girl she was like I just want you to know the greatest thing to ever come out of this was my accountability buddy oh, nice. she's like we have been back and forth we've shared she's like some days when I, I feel like you're a my accountability buddy I'll be like we're each other's accountability like, buddy I'm at the podcast student I'm like damn it Isla we're going <laughs> <laughs> I'm like oh you're not great I'm here Danielle <laughs> <laughs> but Thank I you. love it. So let's just do because I know I was getting antsy. But know, final good. words on just like the people you surround yourself with and change and growth in 2020. I, I think I told our mastermind this, but I'm like, listen, we always are so worried and concerned about what other people think about us. But the reality is, is nobody really cares about you. They're really more interested in themselves. Yeah. And so they might say comments or why are you doing this or what? Why? Like, it doesn't matter because in the end, they, they don't put much thought into it. You do. So I always tell people, I'm like, get out of your own way. Mm -hmm. Like, if I could leave you guys with anything, I always tell people, I'm like, tunnel vision, know your goals, and align yourself with people that have the same values as you do. And when those values don't align, don't be afraid to find yourself a new group, a new tribe, a new whatever that align you in the direction that you want to go with what your values are. And at I the had end to shut out my whole family at one point. Like, literally, I was like, mom, don't text me. Mom, I'm blocking well, you from social media. Well, and something that I hear all the time, just one really quick thing, is people always say, they're like, oh, I'm just surrounded by takers. Well, look, you can't be pissed at the people taking if you keep willingly giving. Right. Then stop giving that much. You can't right. be pissed at your client for coming in on a Saturday if you right. let her. Well, and it takes, it's up to you at the end of the day. It takes two people in a relationship to get to, like, that kind of situation. You yes. Know I mean? And so even, like, that's, like, one thing that's really helped me in business is, like, when I have a bad, like a negative experience or review or whatever, I have to be like, okay, when I'm immediately triggered at that person, <laughs> fucking Becky. <laughs> Becky. <laughs> we, fucking we, Becky. We're joking around. We're like that, that client that there's nobody no wants. Becky. It's Becky, but there's no real <laughs> Becky. But you have to ask, like I used to get so triggered and then I'm like, but why did that situation happen? And if you really like dial back in that there's two people in a relationship that make it work, whether it's business or personal, it really like kind of like jabs you in the face a little bit or mm -hmm. uh, maybe not in the face. Right in the face. Right in the face. Maybe the gut. Right in the but heart. But it just makes you like be accountable to yourself. You know what I mean? Absolutely it does. So if I could leave you guys with one final word, it would be tune out the noise, be accountable to yourself and just go with your gut. Guys, thank you for being here for the Big Money Stylist podcast. You can look at my big ass bun and baby Isla in the sweetest little onesie <laughs> I've ever seen at bigmoneystylistnow.com. And we will see you next week.